Hi everyone, we have to discuss ASA or ASA or American Society of Anesthesiology Classification Risk or Classification System. So, uh, and I think regarding ASA or ASA or risks, it's a physical status classification system that has been in use for over 60 years. So during a lot of years is used and is still actual with, uh, with some uh, uh, corrections. The purpose of the system is to assess and communicate the patient's pre-anesthesia medical comorbidities. And uh, to know that classification system alone does not predict the preoperative risks, but is used with other factors additionally to add like type of surgery which you have to follow frailty and level of the conditioning. It can be helpful, of course, in uh, predicting uh, preoperative risks for patient uh, undergoing surgery. And um, to mention that the final assignment of physical status classification is made on the day of anesthesia care by the anesthesiologist only and uh, after the evaluation of patient. So it is done just before a surgery or one day before surgery to establish risk, to establish a plan of anesthesia and to make some corrections or additional consultations for patients with uh, many comorbidities or in a severe uh, medical uh, status. Classification of ASA or ASA risks. As you see, we have six grades from one to six. And of course, uh, E for emergency cases is added. For example, patient if uh, came to emergency department or is brought to emergency department and have appendicitis and have ASA risk uh, two, it is added uh, E. So ASA two plus E for emergency case. So to know ASA one is for normal healthy patient, ASA two for mild severe, uh, mild sorry, uh, systemic disease, uh, ASA three for severe systemic disease, ASA four is for severe systemic disease, that is a constant threat to life, need a lot of medication and monitoring. ASA five is uh, for moribund patient who is not expected to survive without the operation in 24 hours and ASA6 is declared a brain dead patient. So patient is dead and only is good for organs or uh, for donor purposes. Uh, let us uh, explain uh, classification in examples. Uh, this is simple to understand. For example, patient adult one uh, comes uh, to you for evaluation and have ASA1. So this one is a healthy non-smoking, uh, uh, not taking any uh, substances like alcohol or in minimal use of. ASA2 is uh, for mild diseases uh, only without substantive functional limitations. So no functional limitations. It can be a current uh, smoker, drinker, a pregnant woman with or obese, obese patient with a body mass index less than 30, which is mean, uh, which means that is not uh, morbid obesity. Uh, if patient come uh, to you and have substantive fun functional limitations with one or more moderate to severe diseases like uh, poorly controlled diabetes mellitus, hypertension, COPD, and morbid obesity. Uh, this, uh, this uh, comorbidities or diseases are uh, common, as you know, and a lot of patients uh, come to you with these uh, comorbidities and you have to be very vigilant. Also, patients with active hepatitis, alcohol dependence or abuse, implanted pacemaker uh, reduction or uh, affected ejection fraction, a patient who undergo regularly scheduled dialysis with uh, end-stage renal disease with history 
of uh, more than three months of myocardial infarction, cerebral vascular accident, transient ischemic attack, and uh, uh, coronary artery disease with or without stents uh, or stent placement. And of course, uh, coronary bypass, coronary artery bypass. So as you see, uh, ASA1 is a healthy one, ASA2 is a patient with mild diseases, with only without substantive uh, functional limitations. So no limitations, but can be a smoker or drinker or a pregnant woman. ASA3 is with uh, one or more moderate to severe diseases, can have any of these uh, counted in a row diseases and have substantial functional limitations. SF4 is uh, for patients who uh, have recent accidents like less than three months of myocardial infarction, a cerebrovascular accident, accidents, uh, transient ischemic attacks, a coronary artery uh, disease or with or uh, without stent placement, and patient going uh, uh, cardiac ischemia or severe valve uh, dysfunction or replacement and severe reduction in ejection fraction. Shock, sepsis, multiple organ dysfunction, disseminated intravascular coagulation, acute respiratory disorder or acute renal disease or end stage or renal dis disease not undergoing regularly scheduled dialysis. So as you see in this classification, everything is severe, severe reduction, severe and uh, diagnosis, which uh, shows a terminal or decompensated patient. And as a five uh, patient with ruptured aneurysm, massive trauma, intracranial bleed with mass effect, ischemic bowel and uh, multiple organ uh, or system dysfunction. And many examples for pediatric patients. ASA1 is a healthy patient with normal body mass index. ASA2 is for asymptomatic congenital cardiac disease, well controlled dysrhythmia, dysrhythmias, asthma without exacerbation is like uh, intermittent, well controlled uh, epilepsy, uh, well controlled diabetes, and non insulin dependent, abnormal body mass index. Uh, percentile for age and oncologic state in remission. Autism is mild limitation, so everything is mild or well controlled. In times that as a three for pediatric uh, uh, population with uncorrected stable congenital cardiac abnormality, asthma with exacerbation, poorly controlled epilepsy, poorly controlled diabetes, or insulin dependent, morbid obesity, malnutrition, oncologic state, renal failure, muscle dystrophy, cystic fibrosis, as you see, many uh, congenital uh, disorders comes, history of, of organ transplantation, brain or spinal cord mal malformation, uh, symptomatic hydrocephalus, and premature infant PCA. And for pediatric uh, population, as 4 is for symptomatic congenital cardiac abnormality, congestive heart failure, active sequela of prematurity, acute hypoxy, uh, hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, shock, sepsis, DI, DCI or DIC, uh, cardioverter implantable one, ventilator dependence, endocrinopathy, severe, trauma, severe respiratory distress, and advanced oncologic state. And for uh, ASA5 is massive trauma, intracranial mass, or intracranial hemorrhage with mass effect, uh, patient required uh, ECMO, respiratory failure, or arrest, malignant hypertension, decompensated congestive heart failure, uh, hepatic encephalopathy, ischemic bowel, or multiple organ or system dysfunction. So everything is severe and decompensated uh, organ or system of organ. And you see examples for obstetric uh, population. SO1 is, uh, is considered for norm, normal pregnant, but as a patient or uh, 
female is pregnant it is considered that have uh, a normal state but anyway uh, have some modifications so SA2 is with well controlled gestational hypertension controlled preeclampsia without severe features uh, diet controlled gestational diabetes mellitus SA3 is for uh, uh, pregnant women with a preeclampsia with severe features uh, gestational diabetes mellitus with complications who are on high insulin doses or requirements a thrombophilic disease requiring anticoagulation administration subcutaneously for example one or twice per day as a four is uh, for a pregnant woman with preeclampsia with severe features complicated by uh, help syndrome which is uh, uh, low platelet uh, uh, low hemoglobin and liver enzymes so other adverse events and peripartum uh, cardiomyopathy with ejection fraction less than 40 uncorrected or decompensated heart failure or heart disease acquired or uh, congenital and the other five is for uterine rupture as you see for any uh, any lot of population the same comes like ASA2 with some uh, with some comorbidities or with some diseases but well controlled uh, as a three with severe diseases and complication as a four with uh, complications and decompensation and as a five for more wound or uh, something like that also pregnancy is not a disease as i mentioned but parturians uh, physiologic state is significantly altered from uh, when the woman is not pregnant uh, hence the assignment of as a two for a woman with uncomplicated pregnancy in addition you know that e is for emergency is denoted for emergency surgery and you have to add to this thank you very much have a great time guys